Scream is an Oscar-winning film about mean teens that make prank phone calls. Once I prank called my boss and told him he won a pepperoni pizza and he called me an asshole. The movie starts with Ghost Man calling up Jewel Barrymore on her vintage phone. She says, What's up? And he says, What's up? What's up? I'm watching you little lady, and you're making tasty popcorn on the stove instead of the microwave and that is punishable by death. Then they play a fun game of movie trivia. He asks her who played the little girl in E.T. And she says, Ellen DeGeneres, which is incorrect. Duh. Stupid. Everyone knows the girl in E.T. is Rodney Dangerfield. So the ghost kills her boyfriend who was getting a tan outside wearing many many layers and sweating a lot. Womp womp. She runs away but scary mask guy gets her too. Poor drool. Rest in peace. Now she won't get to eat the popcorn. Meanwhile Nerve Camel is a girl whose boyfriend climbs in window like Clarissa explains it all. They do making out on her bed but she wants to stop. Boyfriend is so ready for doing it because her ponytail gives him the hornies. So he pouts and says, I have severe pain in my blue balls. So she shows her memories and his balls go away. Thank God. The next day at school is very exciting because Jill Bartimore is deceased. But mostly because Monica from Friends is there. Fonzie and David Archuleta are performing tortures on Nerf Campbell to see if she will tell them who did the murders. He says, if you don't tell me who did it I will touch your chin in a very creepy way. Maybe Fonzie is the killer. Now Nervous Campbell gets the squad together. The squad is Blue Ball Boyfriend, Girl from Charmed, Shaggy, and Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Very complete squad in my opinion. They have a meeting and say, who done the murders? Who done it? Shaggy has long tongue that looks like a sword, so now I think he is the killer. Mamma mia. Now Neva Vive is chillin' hard and she gets a phone call. Oh no. Not another movie trivia night. Oh yes. Another movie trivia night. Ghost Man asks her, what's the best movie in history? And she says, really? And the Ghost Man says, incorrect. The best movie of all time is Scream 2. So now the long ghost appears. He tries to attack her, but she kicks him in the eggs. He runs away screaming, my eggs, and next thing you know, her boyfriend walks in. So I guess we found the killer and the movie ends. Never mind, it keeps going. Bummer. Now everyone is scared that they will be the next victim of the movie trivia long ghost, and sure enough, the funds has a murder done on him and his last words are, Monday Tuesday happy day, but wait and say sad day because my intestines are falling out of my stomach. Rest in peace, dude. The students get happy because Fonz is dead so they throw a hot teen drinking party to celebrate. It's all fun until that girl of charm gets stuck in garage door and gets crushed to death. R. I. Peel. Meanwhile Neville is having sex with boyfriend for the first time. His blue balls explode and he dies so the movie ends. Never mind another false alarm. Sad. Now Nervin is feeling unlucky because her new outfit is covered in tomato bisque plus everyone she meets gets killed by this guy in a cloak. So she goes inside to change but she finds out her boyfriend had his balls unblown up and is alive again. And he is the killer. But Shaggy says, excuse me, I am the killer too, babe. It's very confusing and I want to get back to the party where there's popcorn. The whole movie I'm distracted because I want to eat that salty salty popcorn. The movie ends when the boyfriend's eggs explode again. Wow. And Shaggy dies and there's so much blood that I get thirsty to wash down my popcorn with Hawaiian and punch. Monica does a news report about the whole thing and all the stab bees and everyone is happy again until Scream 2 and then until Scream 3 and then for a couple years until Scream 4 comes around. Oh well what can you do people love to stab.